Hello friends, I'm back with a new video today and I'm going to discuss with you today about what, is, what are the mnemonics for the chest physiotherapy. 15 mnemonics I have prepared which I'm going to discuss with you. All are very good and very important from the clinical perspective. Let's see the first one, contraindications of postural drainage. The mnemonics is H raised to 4, P square, toes and fa. Okay, once again, H is to 4, P square, toes and fa, 4 times H, 2 times P, toes, T-O-E-S, and fa, a famous perfume, okay, deodorant brand. So, 4 times H, okay, very simple to remember, head injury, height hernia, severe hypertension, severe hemoptysis. I repeat once again, head injury, height hernia, severe hemoptysis, severe hypertension. 2 times P, peritoneal dialysis and pulmonary edema. Peritoneal dialysis and pulmonary edema. Toes, T O E S. Tension pneumothorax, esophagectomy, eye operations, and surgical emphysema. I repeat once again tension pneumothorax, esophagectomy, eye operations, and surgical emphysema. Fa, facial edema and aortic aneurysm. Facial edema and aortic aneurysm. Let's see it quickly. Hiatus hernia, head injury, severe hypertension, severe hemoptysis. 4 times H, 2 times P, pulmonary edema and peritoneal dialysis. Toes, TOES, tension pneumothorax, esophagectomy, eye operations, surgical emphysema. FA, facial edema, aortic aneurysm. Let's see the second mnemonics that is for the arterial disease. Okay, arterial disease, the mnemonics is bar 1, a famous chocolate brand, okay, B-A-A-A-R, I have included one extra A and with this mnemonics you will be able to remember the name of the disease very easily. B stands for Burgess disease, arteriosclerosis, atherosclerosis, aneurysm and Raynaud's disease. I repeat once again, Burgess disease arteriosclerosis, atherosclerosis, aneurysm and Raynaud's disease. Okay, Burgess disease, arteriosclerosis, atherosclerosis, aneurysm and Raynaud's disease. Let's see the third one that is disease of the vein. The mnemonic says PPVD, very easy to remember, pulmonary embolism, phlebitis or thrombophlebitis, varicose vein and deep vein thrombosis. Okay, pulmonary embolism, phlebitis or thrombophlebitis, varicose vein and deep vein thrombosis. Let's see the another one, arterial surgery. The mnemonics is SAD E, S A D, SAD. Okay, and E E. Very easy to remember. Sympathectomy, A stands for arterial graft, D stands for direct suture. E stands for embolectomy and E stands for endarterectomy. Very, very easy to remember. Sympathectomy, arterial graft, direct suture, embolectomy and endarterectomy. Let's see the fifth. That is 5 P's of PVD. These are the main characteristics, clinical findings you will see in a patient. P stands for pain, P stands for paresthesia, P stands for paralysis, P stands for pallor and P stands for pulselessness. So let's see the sixth one that is about the CABG indications, coronary artery bypass grafting indication. Main indication is your blockage in the coronary artery, left and right coronary artery and its branches. But apart from this, okay, the other indications that is dust, you can remember it with the mnemonics dust, D-U-S-T. Where D stands for depressed ventricular function, U stands for unstable angina. S stands for stenosis of the left main stem and T stands for triple vessel disease. But out of this four, okay, if it is present or absent, but you need to check for the coronary artery where the blockage is, what is the size of the blockage. I repeat once again, DUST, depressed ventricular function, U, unstable angina, S, stenosis of the left main stem and T stands for triple vessel disease. Let's see the seventh one, causes of ST segment elevation in ECG. Okay, uh, why the ST segment will be increased in ECG? The mnemonics is elevation, okay, where E stands for electrolytes, L stands for left bundle branch block, 
okay e stands for early repolarization v stands for ventricular hypertrophy a stands for aneurysm t stands for treatment i stands for injury o stands for osborn waves like your hypothermia and n stands for non occlusive vasospasm okay so the mnemonic is elevation let's repeat once again e stands for electrolytes l stands for left bundle branch block e stands for early repolarization v stands for ventricular hypertrophy a stands for aneurysm t stands for treatment pericardiocentesis i stands for injury o stands for osborn waves n stands for non occlusive vasospasm let's see the eighth mnemonic that is for the intubation preparation okay maybe uh, endotracheal or the tracheostomy intubation what are the preparation to be done you can remember it with the mnemonic called 6 p's okay where first p it stands for pre oxygenation then pre treatment paralysis with induction positionally placement of tube and post intubation management let's see it clearly pre oxygenation pre treatment paralysis with induction p for positioning p for placement of tube and p for post intubation management let's see the ninth one management of chronic copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disease the mnemonic is copd only where c stands for sm uh, cigarette smoking cessation o stands for oxygenation if the patient is hypoxic p stands for three things pft c for the pft second pneumococcal vaccine and the third one pulmonary rehab so this is for the p and then d d stands for dilators bronchodilators and anticholinergic medicines c o p d c stands for cigarette smoking cessation o for oxygen if hypoxic p stands for pft plus pneumococcal vaccine plus pulmonary rehab d stands for dilators bronchodilators and anticholinergics let's see the next one acute copd exacerbation management the mnemonic is a copd a stands for antibiotics c stands for corticosteroids o stands for oxygen p stands for phlegm control that means your mucolytics that means your n acetyl cysteine and d stands for dilators bronchodilators a copd a stands for antibiotics if indicated by fever and x ray uh, c stands for corticosteroids to reduce the hospital stay by controlling the inflammation and infection o stands for oxygen p stands for phlegm control and d stands for dilator bronchodilator okay let's see the 11th one hypertension complications okay a major non communicable disease you can remember it with the mnemonic called 5 c's okay first c coronary artery disease chronic renal failure congestive heart failure cardiac arrest and cerebrovascular accident coronary artery disease cad chronic renal failure congestive heart failure cardiac arrest and cerebrovascular accidents twelfth mnemonic major causes of bronchiectasis the mnemonic is chad pars okay where c h a d chad pars p a r s where c stands for cystic fibrosis h stands for hypo gamma globulinemia a stands for alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency d stands for disc dyskinetic ciliary syndrome p stands for pneumonia a stands for allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis r stands for rheumatoid arthritis and s stands for jogren's syndrome okay let's see once again c h a d cystic fibrosis hypogamma globulinemia a stands for alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency d stands for dyskinetic ciliary syndrome then okay p a r s pars p stands for pneumonia a stands for allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis r stands for rheumatoid arthritis and s stands for jogren's syndrome let's see the 13th one that is cyanotic defects okay in a congenital heart disease four t's t for tetralogy of fallot t of truncus arteriosus t stands for transposition of great vessels and t stands for tricuspid atresia you need to remember in the 
congenital heart disease that it is of two major types this is inside the heart and this is outside the heart and another classification is cyanotic heart disease and acyanotic heart disease so in cyanotic defects you can remember it with the mnemonics called forties tetralogy of fallot truncus atrios arteriosus t for transposition of great vessels and t stands for tricuspid atresia let's see the 14th mnemonics okay that is your aortic stenosis characteristics now we have four different valves okay that is tricuspid bicuspid pulmonary and aortic so the valve can go for two major defect it can go for the narrowing we call it as a stenosis of the valve and it can go for the regurgitation uh, it loses its property to the certain extent it goes for the incompetency and it causes regurgitation of the blood so aortic stenosis if the aortic valve is going for the narrowing okay what are the characteristics the mnemonics is sad s a d where s stands for syncope a stands for angina and d stands for dyspnea let's see the last one that is heart valves okay from right to left side okay and the famous mnemonics uh, that is they pay me alcohol that is the mnemonics okay and uh, you have to remember the first letter of the word of the mnemonics they t h e y where t stands for tricuspid valve okay p uh, p p p stands for pulmonary semilunar valve me m e m stands for mitral bicuspid valve and a okay that is alcohol a aortic semilunar valve okay so to summarize let me tell you that this 15 mnemonics will be very helpful to you you need to remember few of them to make our clinical practice easy that is definitely going to be helpful so thank you for your patience listening thank you once again